Very prominent house of God, the face to face assembly ministry in Saple has doled out food items, clothes, and shoes to hundreds of widows, the old, physically challenged indigenous persons in Saple town and its environs to mark the seventh edition of their September to remember annual power park program. And so the Saple main stadium was packed full as the ministry, headed by founder Tisha of God's Word, Pastor Api Overa, released prophetic declarations for the remaining parts of the year 2024. The September to Remember program is one of the Isigna or the face-to-face -face assembly, as it is an event where they give back to society cash and material items over the years. Also, during the program, medical checkups and drugs were administered to old people. The physically challenged society were also on ground as Pastor Overa and the church gave back to the people. Speaking to Rero TV correspondent Lydian Ogbimi, some of the beneficiaries hailed Pastor Overa and the face to face assembly for the gesture, as some of them expressed surprise at the gesture before going on to pray for the commission. I'm, I'm Comrade Anthony, the praising God and um, the man of God, the teacher of God's word, bringing out his time, his money to do this kind of thing annually. This is the three consecutive years I've attended this kind of program and he continued to improve. You see the moment crowd, you see everywhere, people are everywhere, happy. This is how it's supposed to be. This is what offerings and uh, tithes are supposed to be used for. You see the moment crowd of uh, widows, disabled, the blind, even the houses, the full and everybody are here. He's taking care of all of them. So it's a good thing. I think uh, I thank God for it and I pray that God should sustain him. I'm the PRO for all the disabled in Saple local government and I'm Comrade Noah Israel. Uh, well, uh, I will thank God for the way the uh, teacher is uh, helping the less privileged and the physically challenged and other many Nigerians. So we thank God because he's really caring. He's showing concern for the less privileged and uh, the physically challenged. Thank God for the gift. God go get a long life. By this time next year, he go do more, more than this in Jesus' name. Thank you, ma. I feel very happy. Okay. And I give thanks to God. Okay. And I pray earlier, right from the first day they invited me to this program, I pray to God that God should empower them to do more. Uh, so God should empower them, those who involve and who are responsible for all this kind of favor, to take care of people. I said God should provide for them. Provide for the, the, the providers and the, the receivers in Jesus' name. I say God should protect us till next year September again. And we all will gather here again in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God will begin to strengthen us. God will favor on the family. It will be great. It will live 150 years. Thank you, Mark. And will be upon him. I thank the, uh, the pastor every year. We come here and he give us gift for the widow. We say may God bless him and wait for the seed the thing they bring. May God fill the pocket in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Do you. you get to talk about the gift to the gift today? And uh, that's the way you give we yeah. God go bless her. Amen. You should go full. Amen. Anything you want, God go give her. God go bless her. Very nice. God go bless our baba, our teacher. Very, very good. Right. More promotion. More promotion in the family. Right. Amen. Oh. 
I don't expect this at all. So I was invited to this place. So I didn't think I would even get anything at all. So I was surprised. They still called me. I was so pleased. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. They give you the give me so I thank God. Now somebody say invite me, come. I appreciate God. God will take control for this church in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Finally, we spoke to teacher of God's word, Pastor Api Overa, and the man of God, Ovid more on how the ministry is a humanitarian one, presently running two free schools in Saple, before insisting that they will continue in their philanthropic style of assisting persons in the society. So my name is teacher of God's word, Apostle Api Overa, the teacher of God's word, Nigeria. Scripture says, as believers, we should remind ourselves that one of the responsibility of every believer is to remember the poor and the less privileged among those that God has given to us he said the poor must be in the land so every year we remember them even as the beginning of the harvest of the year so we remember the widows and the poor we give whatever we have sold our tithe our offerings all to them I feel fulfilled I feel fulfilled ministry is not about creating wealth for yourself ministry is about affecting people a complete ministry has to do with taking care of the poor and preaching the kingdom of God. Then the next aspect of ministry is to teach the word of God. And one of the kingdom responsibility is to take care of these widows and the poor, the blind, the lame. These things are what Sodom and Gomorrah did not do. It's among those things that they didn't do that made God punish them. So we are fulfilled, we are happy. And that has been our ministry. Our ministry is to take care of the poor, to teach God's word, and to bring people back to God through repentance. We have been doing this for seven years, and then it has been so. Even to our free schools, you know, we have two free schools for the less privileged. There are people around you that have not eaten. There are people around you that are sick. There are people around you that are not well. Just get close to them. Even if it is water, water, give to them. God bless you. My name is Akbarero Henry Akbos, and this is Railroad TV. Thank you for watching.